How's it going everyone? JakeXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Today we're going to be attempting to get another, well, sort of, a world record for the fastest 0-200 miles per, hour, miles per hour car in the game. Before we get into it, I want to say this. If we reach 500 likes on this video in quite a quick amount of time, I will make a video within the next week of how I was on the BBC News. That's all I'm going to say. But just before we get into today's video, I need to quickly talk about today's sponsor, BOTB. You can win your own dream car with BOTB, the Dream Car Competition Company. The tickets start at just 85 pence and there are over 150 cars to choose from. All you have to do is head to BOTB.com and have a go at their Spot the Balls competition. And if you get the winning coordinates in the game, you win the car. BOTB also have a lifestyle competition each week as well where you could win a Visaro racing simulator worth over £10,000 for just 55p. The competitions are open to anyone in the world and you only have to be 16 to enter. Links are in the description below. So, as I was saying, 0 to 200 miles an hour is a lot different to your average 0 to 60 miles an hour video, which I did do back in the day, and we found that the Porsche 918 Spider is actually the fastest 0 to 60 car in the game, believe it or not. Not going to argue with anyone. But one of these new cars that has just been added accelerates so, so quickly. I really want to do a video on it and see just how fast we can make it. Everyone by now is going to know that it's the Monaco King Cobra Shelby. And I'm going to have the timer on screen for all of this. So as we actually perform the 0 200, we're going to see how long it took me. And I'm hoping at some point that we manage 0 to 200 seconds, not 200 seconds, 0 to 200 miles an hour in four and a half seconds. Now, that is ridiculous time. So we're going to get straight to the upgrades. I'm not going to waste any time. We're going to put the 6.5 litre V12 in it. We're going to make it all wheel drive. We're going to go to the Aspiration and put the twin turbos in it. We're going to go over to the tyres and we're going to put the drag tyres on it because we need drag sticky tyres. We're going to make the tyres nice and thick like hamster. We're going to go over to the rims and make them super light like this one. And there we go, the usual upgrades, 1,515 horsepower and 600 and something kilograms. Now, it's pretty obvious that the fastest 0 to 200 car in the game is going to be this car. There's no question about that. It's just a question about tuning it properly to do it in the fastest time. I think we need to use probably only two gears because, because it's only going to take between four and five seconds. An extra gear change is going to add so much time to it. And I don't think we'd manage it in first gear. Yes, this will do 200 miles an hour. So I guess now we've just got to get to timing it, I guess. Right, here we go. I'm just going to start it off. We'll start with just going fat out off the line. There we go. I wonder what that was. Now we're going to try with launch control, see what time that makes us. There we go, there's one on with launch control. And now we'll try with full boost launch control. There we go. I guess I've got to find out which one of those was the fastest now. So the normal launch did 5.78 seconds. Launch control gave us 5.6 seconds. Full boost launch gave us 5.4. So it seems pretty obvious that a full boost launch is probably going to be the fastest for this. However, I think we need to change our gears even more. I'm going to increase first gear and second gear just a tad, just to see if this can be made even faster like that. Okay, let's give it a go here now. So we'll stop, face this way. That seems pretty impressive. Wonder how fast that was. Okay, I've just timed that and that showed up basically the same. Okay, I've tried out some other bits in the tuning menu. We're going to see if we can make it even faster, see what times we can get. OK, 
Okay, no idea how fast that was. You see, I've just downloaded a tune off the marketplace and that felt incredibly slow for acceleration. That was just... That doesn't seem fast at all. Screw that tune, back to normal. I mean, just done a bit more tuning now. Let's let's see what 0 to 200 we get now, shall we? Oh, that was a good launch. Let's see the time of that. 5.1 seconds I got there. That's incredible. So it seems like I was right for the gearing to have to be around 130 to 140 miles an hour. But if you can just get the first launch best. Yeah, that wasn't good there, you see. We have to be full power. Oh, even more. I really want to get sub five seconds. Really want to do it badly. Ooh, ho, 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 that's got to be close. 5.005 I had then. This is sitting so close. I don't really want to touch any of the gears or anything because... Oh, I don't want to. We're getting so close to that sub five seconds, not to um, 200. So I'm going to continue to try and launch. Oh, you know, that could have been a good one if I didn't have to turn into the wall. Turn away from the wall, I mean. If you're wondering why I'm shifting badly, I kind of proved it to be true that if you shift badly, it's nearly as good as shifting badly. Perfectly. In fact, I'm going to try and shift fine now anyway, it's just as a test. So there's one, see what time it did. Now I'm going to try again with a perfect shift, you know, just to be sure. There we go. Okay, that was a good launch as well then. Now I'm just going to shift badly. My god, this thing's crazy. We need the perfect launch, and I think it's about 6,000 RPM that it does it west. That seemed like a good one. We'll do it again. We'll just do it again and again until I get a sub-5. Right. Was any of those sub five? 4.8 seconds that one was. That's ridiculous. Well, I mean, we're getting close to my four and a half second goal now. It seems that shifting badly is just quicker. You know, I was shifting perfectly like this. Like that, may not be perfect, but that's a good shift. But shifting like this is faster. Because that run was a 4.8 seconds, 0 to 200. Oh, are you joking? I don't think I hit 200 then. I didn't really want to veer out a straight line because that kind of ruins it. 4.8 seconds, that's incredible. I can't believe we just managed that. Let me try again. I mean, no, I don't know. If, is that similar? Yeah, I, th I think we may have reached the cap now. Uh, it, whenever I get the perfect launch, it gives me about five seconds. I've no idea how I managed that 4.8 then. Don't know if doing it here will help us at all. We'll try it out though. We'll see. Here we go. There we go. I mean. Pfft. Oh, I just, just, 
Just managed to under them before I hit the wall. Well, I think we've reached the limit. I'm going to replay the 4.8 seconds 0 to 200 now. I'm not sure how I managed that. I'm struggling to get 4.9s now, but that must have just been a perfect launch. I've also shared this tune on the market if you want to get it. It's just called 0 to 200, I think I called it. I did change the tune up halfway through, got different rims on it and everything because the other rims look weird. I only chose them because of the lightest. But we managed to do 0 to 200 miles an hour in 4.8 seconds. 4 seconds! Now, let me know in the comment section below if I should do a 0 to 60 time on this because. I think there's a pretty good chance that this is the fast 0-60 car as well, which is quite surprising. So if you want to see a video on that, let me know. And also, please try to rake the record that I just got. 4.8 seconds to 200 miles an hour. That is nearly twice as fast as a Corsa does 0-60. to yeah, Anyway, guys, please leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content. And I'll see you all later.